All right, everyone. So it looks like Robert Kraft is also not too happy about what happened with the docuseries The Dynasty. So he was speaking today in front of reporters in this video is that we got here is from Mark Daniels, Patriots covered for Mass Live. He tweeted this video out and this is him discussing the dynasty. So here you go. Um, Rodney Harrison of Matthew. Uh, although I didn't, I just heard quietly that they've all felt that way. And actually there were some really prominent people that were interviewed for hours that never were used. So a um, little disappointed that there wasn't more of a real positive approach, uh, especially for Patriot fans who have lived the experience with us. Robert, one quick follow-up on that, um, specific to Bill Belichick. Okay, so there's a lot of interesting stuff here. Number one, um, obviously there's been a ton of backlash to it. You know, you had two former players come out and even say, man, this was pretty, for, you know, for a time period that was probably the most successful two decades a team has had in NFL history, this is a pretty negative documentary, right? That the two former players come out and say that. And, um, you know, it was Devin McCourty, and Rodney Harrison. Matthew Slater also had stuff to say on it, too. So the, so you had, that's actually three former players. I didn't even know about Matthew Slater saying anything. So you've had people criticizing it. And it was clearly an anti-Belichick um, documentary, right? The whole point was to kind of just paint, you know, Brady and Kraft in a little bit better light than Bill Belichick. Now, we don't know if that was the purpose of the, you know, like why it was made. But certainly the final edit gives that off. So I think it was important that Kraft spoke on this because a lot of people were blaming him for that. And I see on Twitter now, there's this thing um, that says Kraft Dynasty LLC 2024, all rights reserved. The copyright holder is the author of cinematog cinemographic or audiovisual work for the purposes of Article 15, two of the Bernie Convention and all national laws giving effect thereto. So this is what appears at the end of... Um, each episode. And so we did some research on this, which just consisted of us basically Googling something. And, um, you know, so this is from CBS News, okay? It says, owner Robert Kraft has ended up taking a little bit of public relation hit on the series, at least if social media is an accurate representation, representation of fandom, as, as he was a willing, possible, eager participant in the project. The name Kraft Dynasty LLC appears at the end of the credits of each episode too, and though that has more to do with the Patriots owning the rights to some of the footage used in the documentary, it at least created an impression that team ownership had more to do with the project than just being interview subjects. So, here's the thing. We didn't know that when we were, you know, kind of, when we first had seen this, we thought, oh, geez, they had a bigger deal. But that makes a lot of sense, right? It makes a ton of sense that you know, that they would have their credits in there because they allowed for these rights to be used, right? And so that makes sense. The thing that I think is interesting about what he's saying here is that he says there's there's some people who were talked to that were, he says, very, he says, really prominent people who were interviewed for hours that were never used. That is a huge deal, right? What he's basically now pointing the finger at is that this documentary He's basically taking all blame off, you know, the Kraft family or any, they're part of it because they're saying, look, we gave them everything they needed to create this good documentary and they chose just, or this good docu-series and they chose not to. And I think that's very interesting. I think that's, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out and to see if that's the truth. Because the one part that we really want to know is how much was the Kraft family involved in making this documentary in terms of like the direction of it? And if at all, because if this was 10 years ago, let's say, right. And a documentary was being made. I don't think anybody would bat an eye. I think everybody would say, Oh, geez, these document, you know, these filmmakers here, they, they screwed this up. They did this wrong. The problem is, is that you now have controversy between Belichick, Kraft and Brady. Right, you have this idea that's out in the media, and I think it's definitely true that Kraft is not happy with the way that the Brady 
Brady's time with the Patriots ended. And he blames Bill Belichick for that. And I think at the time, he kind of, you know, held his nose and said, whatever, we'll go with this. And then when Bill Belichick proceeded to have, you know, a not great end to his tenure with the Patriots, that created a rift. And I think when people see that, they go, huh, maybe he has a vested interest in, you know, kind of getting a little bit of payback towards Bill Belichick. Now, to be fair to Robert Kraft, he's basically, you know, he's putting Bill in the Patriots Hall of Fame. He's, you know, only been praiseworthy of him. So publicly, there doesn't, publicly their beef doesn't exist and so that's going to be the interesting thing to find out is is Robert Kraft telling the truth here did you know they just give all of this time to all these very prominent individuals and they figured hey these guys will make a positive documentary and then the filmmakers went and just did something ridiculous with it and or I don't want to say ridiculous but they chose to shine a spotlight on a separate part than the positives of it right they just decided to shine the spotlight on the negatives And that's going to be interesting. Or was it more of, you know, Robert Kraft kind of saying, yeah, you know, let's, let's, let's get involved a little bit with how this narrative plays out. And yeah, you know, Bill did this and Bill's a great coach, but he did that. That's going to be the interesting part of the story. And we'll see if we ever really find out, but it certainly he's facing backlash because he even went out of his way. Right. I mean, I'm sure he was asked about it, but the point is for him to say anything about it, And to know, oh, hey, you know, we had former players saying stuff, that's a big deal. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next.